With all the latest AI evolution in tools like Sora, Gemini 1.5, different 3D mesh tools, animation tools, image generation, new specialist AI chips, trillions of dollars being thrown around. Yeah, it can get a bit much. So today I'm gonna to ponder some slightly bigger questions and consider how far away are we from being able to make some unlimited AI powered Truman Show where we can follow the life of an AI character in real time, sped up, have impact on their lives, which is probably in equal measure interesting, fascinating, exciting, and also slightly terrifying as it could turn into some sci-fi free guy, the Matrix type scenario. Anyway, let's dive in. I'm going to lean into the facts about technology that we have now, what's coming down the line, and then use a little dose of good old speculation. So there've been a few big announcements that have got me thinking. Firstly, Sora from OpenAI, where they've shared their new video generation offering, which will be available to the world to use at some point once they've done testing, and I assume set lots of guardrails around safety, copyright, and usage, because like this robot, we can't be trusted. Whilst we don't know when that is, how much it will cost to use, how quick it is, or how cherry-picked their fantastic looking examples have been, we do know a little bit about how it works from their shared research information. I think the big surprising thing is that they're not simply creating a tool that can stick multiple AI generated images together to create videos. They're essentially creating a world simulation tool that is capable of understanding the rules of a world, 3D space, physics, lighting, shadows, and character interaction. Plus it's able to adapt this to represent the real world or a fantastic one based on the prompts it's been given. Plus they can do cute cat and dog videos. So expect to see TikTok and Instagram full of is it fake or real videos very, very soon. This world simulation approach has been detailed in the past by Runway ML, who are another popular AI video generation platform, as the way to be able to create really good AI video generations and OpenAI are the first to show this in practice. Yes, Sora is by no means perfect, with oddities we've come to expect from AI generations, there's extra limbs, odd walk cycles and more. But it's a huge leap on what we've seen from other tools in the past, with much improved consistency and overall understanding, Plus, this is their version 1, or at least the first version previewed publicly. It's only going to get better. Since the Sora announcement, Eleven Labs, the creators of potentially the world's leading AI voiceover generation platform, have gone through and added their own audio to the Sora preview clips using some in-house AI tools that they're yet to release, where they're able to bring scenes to life with folly, sound effects. Just have a listen to a few of these clips. If you run with the idea that Sora or another as yet unknown AI is able to create realistic world simulations, could it, in theory, with time, create an AI Truman show where you can see the birth of a character and have their life play out in real time over years, with consequences of actions and the evolution of multiple storylines interwoven, played out in any art style as requested by the viewer, potentially with the viewer able to interact and update the scene like a super realistic version of Sims? But then what does it mean for our future when characters in animations are not just coded or keyframed, but have the capacity to remember and learn from their interactions? That opens up lots of thoughts around ethics, which are definitely above my pay grade. But I'd love to know what you think, so please drop any ideas in the comments below. Are we edging closer still to that Star Trek holodeck where we'll be seeing refined combinations of technology, entertainment, animation, and computer games? There are, of course, arguments on why this won't be possible, but I think the counter-arguments are steadily stacking up against it as different technology evolves at a rapid pace. For one, it would require enormous amounts of compute power to process these worlds, more so than just a single one-minute video clip might. Which is completely true, but we've seen huge advancements in computer processors, dedicated GPUs and memory for decades, and we now have the assistance of these ever-improving AI that can assist chip manufacturers in designing better chips and using new materials as others decline. Through improved coding and more efficient training, we've seen stable diffusion workflows that can produce images and videos near instantly that early last year at best took minutes per frame. Plus, if someone was to say, suggest spending trillions of dollars to aid future AI-focused chip production, then it would seem an inevitability that these processors would be capable of processing these worlds. Yes, you would need huge amounts of electricity and power to run these processes, and I'm not sure that's something that's possible at the moment, 
but there has been continued huge investment and research and discoveries around fusion energy with Sam Altman himself investing in companies behind this. So potentially in the future, we might be able to harness the power of the sun of a small star to help run huge warehouses that run these processes. And let's be fair, using the power of a small star to run these processes, as well as power your oh so important kettle, is really pretty cool. And I don't know how far away we are from being able to use fusion energy for real life scenarios, but it's something to consider for the future. Okay, but then what about memory? These huge simulations would need the ability to remember for consequences to play out. This is something that current AI video generations struggle with, but there are glimpses of this scene working in the Sora previews. For example, someone painting actually leaving marks on the canvas or taking a bite out of a burger actually takes a bite out of the burger. Plus, just last week, OpenAI released the ability for ChatGPT to have memory so it can optionally remember to learn from past conversations. And these tools just keep on coming and advancing rapidly. So I'd love to know what you think. Do you think we're actually heading on a path to be able to create this future holodeck or this interactive unlimited Truman show that plays out with AI characters with consequences that would provide a new form of entertainment and open up new ways of creating media? Plus, there's things along the lines of Neuralink, AR, VR, all sorts of stuff which are going to change how we could potentially consume and interact with media in the future. This video has been quite different from my normal AI animation tutorials, so please let me know what you think in the comments about this kind of video, plus the whole AI Truman Show holodeck concept and where it might all be heading. All right, thanks very much for watching. As always, please press like, subscribe, and all of that. Have a nice day. Cheers.